I just wanted to show you some cottage industries on the way and we'll also stop by a cocoa farm. So we'll do the cottage industry like uh, how we get a palm kennel oil and palm oil and then how we this afternoon we'll stop at one of the cottage industries Gary Gary processing Gary is spelled G A R I and it's like grits, but it is a student companion in Ghana. Student companion in Ghana because when people are going to uh, secondary school or senior high school, it's a quick food, but it's a very tedious work to do to get the gari. Now the gari is a byproduct of it's a product of cassava. Now the cassava is chopped into pieces. After it's been chopped into pieces, it's grind or sent to the mill to grind. Now after that, you take out the starch. When you take out, you squeeze out the starch. Now because it's plenty, you cannot just squeeze out the starch. So you stuff them in a sack. After stuffing them in a sack, you put heavy stones on it. For about three, four days, the starch gets out and then you get the solid dough of cassava. Now the cassava dough, is then put in a big pan uh, and in a pot, in a big pan, and then you keep stirring it. The one who does it stir it up and down, up and down, until several hours. Then they begin to come out and looking like a grit or looking like sand, like a dead. Looking like that, and then several hours is ready. Now, this is a quick food because you can just add water and sugar and it's ready to eat. You can just get your shito and boil some hot water and then you get your... Now, it's also a stable food for the people of Nigeria. Eba, what they call Eba. But in Ghana, student company. Students like it and it also goes very well with black eyed peas and fried plantain. So we call it Yokekari. Okay. That's the uh, rice and beans. We have the rice and beans, and the same beans they use for the watching. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> so we have the gari. That is the student companion. It's quick food. You can also take it like this and just drop it in your mouth and eat. And you are okay. Dump some water and you are okay to go. So we'll stop by this few cottage industries on our way to Kumasi. But this afternoon, we'll stop at the migrant settlement in Diako or Bacano. No, those people living along directly uh, after one Africa facing the ocean, they are not fantas. Yeah, they are Ewes. They migrated or uh, Ewes. They migrated from the Volta region and then come here purposely to do fishing. So we'll see this Gary before we get into uh, the Kakum National Park. Thank you.